I was out in the desert the other night trying to photograph the northern lights from southwestern Idaho when something crazy happened. The aurora was strong that night, but wasn't showing up all that well in my photos due to the 65% waxing moon that was high in the southern sky and possibly even a little bit of a light pollution to the north. The bright moon finally set around 1.20 a.m. I was hoping the darker sky would help the aurora pop a bit more. Unfortunately, it slowed down for the night, so I ended up going home early, and to be honest, I was feeling a little bit disappointed with what I had captured. It wasn't until the next day when I processed my time lapse that I noticed I had captured something truly special, something I've never captured before. Now, I'm not claiming to be the first to capture this. I've actually seen a handful of skilled time lapse photographers post this over the last year or so. At first glance, you might not even notice it. Then, you might just think it's planes, but it's not planes. What we're seeing here is sunlight reflecting off of hundreds, if not thousands, of satellites orbiting Earth. I've captured satellite flares for years now in my photos. Iridium flares, the NASA ACS-3, Starlink trains, and even the ISS will all light up nicely after sunset. What makes this shot so unique is the insane amount of satellites I captured in this 4 hour long time lapse. I decided to try stacking the images to really show off just how many flares I captured. You can see the main group of flares mostly happening here above the horizon, but what I find really cool is as the sun continued to drop behind the earth, it created what I'm calling a satellite flare sunset effect and actually made the flares brighter and more colorful, kind of like how clouds light up with color at sunset. I've always loved a good star trail image that shows off all the stars spiraling around the North Star Polaris, but this one might just be my favorite that I've captured so far. It's just too cool. I'm really interested in seeing if it's possible to try and capture this again, like if I go out and try to plan on shooting it and see if it happens or if I'm able to get it. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait a little while for the weather to clear up here before I can try this one again. I've also been out a bunch recently trying to capture this new NASA satellite that is pretty bright to the naked eye, almost as bright as the ISS. I'm finishing up that video right now and it'll be dropping soon, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.